Hello friends! It's been forever since I sat down and recorded a full length video. So if you've seen my channel before, you know that I do pixie cut styles is my main theme on my YouTube channel and sometimes makeup and lately I've been getting into shorts. So if you have watched my channel before, you know that I usually keep a shorter pixie than this. I just recently got out of the shower. My hair is still damp, um, but I wanted to give you guys a really good look at the length of my hair and how I've been styling it lately because it's been super fun. Let me give you a little twirl around. So I would call this a long pixie and I've typically not worn a long pixie very often and I am digging it this year. So I've been using this even though it's for curl and twist. I got it for finger waves, um, but I actually really like it as an after shower mist before I style my hair because it's really, really light and uh, moisturizing, but it's not heavy and it doesn't feel like you have much in your hair. So I'm gonna just do, I, I'm very frugal with the number of pumps I use on my hair. I use about two pumps because a lot comes out here. One, two. So I'm just gonna work this through my hair. What I've been going for lately is like more of a messy sort of wind blown look. So let's jump in. I'm going to first, since this has been setting for a little bit, I'm gonna um, blow dry my hair and I'm gonna blow dry it very messy. So not really going one way or the other. Here we go. All right, so it, every time I blow dry my hair lately, it gets pretty straight. If I air dry it, which I do quite frequently, um, I just scrunch it while it's air drying and it will come out a bit more flippy. The problem is, is that when you air dry, at least for my head, I don't get the good volume in the back, which is why I'm going to use another tool here. Um, so, um, this is the Callista Faux Blow. If you have short hair, let me tell you, the Callista brand is amazing. I've been using them for years. My other favorite Callista tool is the Callista Perfector Pro, which works great. I have the, the uh, half inch barrel on this one. This works great for super short hair, but my hair is longer now and it can get caught so I like to use this one when my hair is longer, this one when my hair is shorter. Okay, and so I've just turned this on. There's not any setting other than on. You can see the short little bristles here and it's really hot. This is a one inch barrel. Um, your hair won't get tangled in this. It's great. And so what I do is I don't even use a comb on this one. I usually just take a chunk of hair and twir twir twirl it around. And I kind of keep twirling because I like that curl to sort of stick. This, um, this part of the faux blow will twirl so you can just keep twirling it. And then there's the curl. And you can see it's a really um, loose, voluminous curl. So I'm gonna just keep doing that with chunks of hair. right there. And 
And I'm gonna go all the way around my head when I do this. And what I do want to happen is I want the back here to sort of flip out. So I'm gonna reinforce that flip that sort of naturally happens anyway by going the opposite way. So you can kind of see how it's starting to flip out here. Okay, last step. This is been my favorite thing to use for longer pixies. After I do this curling bit, or sometimes if I just air dry and scrunch it, I'll still use this before I finalize the do. So this is Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Oil. It's the Soft Texture Finishing Spray. I personally uh, get this at Ulta and um, it, it's really, really good. So here we go. I don't use all that much, but just a couple squirts around the head. Okay, and then now you can just start going in. You just wanna go in and fluff it up, get it as crazy big as you want it. Oh man, this one came out good. This one came out really good. Okay, I am ready to finish this off. I, a lot of times I don't go in too heavy with my fingers, especially if I like the way my hair is sort of curving around. And this one felt like that. Like if I start messing with it too much, it'll just be like, kind of all over the place and um, I'll be distracting from my original style. So I'm going to give a couple squirts of this volume spray. This is from Kenra, this is Kenra 25. Um, also, I will link uh, these products in the description below the video, but I would say search for them if you're interested in buying those products and find the cheapest one out there. Um, I'll put links, but sometimes you can get better deals if you just do a quick Google search. All right, here we go. I'm gonna spray this. And if you don't like the feeling of hairspray after you do a style, don't hairspray. Just use the uh, finishing spray and, and be done with it. Just depends on how uh, set you want your hair. I hope you like it. I hope this can give you a little inspiration for how to style your long pixie. I'm digging the long pixies right now. They're really in style and there's a lot you can do with them. Anyway, I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. I miss you all. I will see you next time.